Hello and welcome to Gabriel's 3D Printing. Today we'll be looking at this elephant with a movable head and movable legs uploaded by the Fab Shop. First things first, we go down to the developer notes, see if they have any specifications. And they say that we should print with 0% infill and that we should use a layer height of 0.2 millimeters. And there's not really anything else here. So we can definitely figure out uh, everything else on our own. Now, Rather than clicking on this down on all files over here, we're actually going to go down here to thing files because there's something wrong as the day of recording at the day of recording that if you press this button, you're going to get the 404 error where you can't find the files. So if you do want the files, you're going to have to go scroll down, click on this thing files. And here you have your two STLs. You have the giant version and the mini version. Now for this video, we're going to use the mini version. So hit download on that uh, bottom one and you should get a file similar to this then all I have to do now is click and hold on the STL and drag it to your preferred slicer of choice and give it a few seconds to load in once it's finished loading in you should be greeted by this elephant laying on its legs now we're gonna take up the developer on some of his options so the first thing he said was a layer height of 0.2 millimeters so in order to have that we're gonna go to the profile up here Click on this button over here and select standard quality 0.2 millimeter layer height. If any tab pops up whenever you click on that, click on the discard button. That just means that it wants to delete all previous modifications you've done to that profile. And that's exactly what we want. Now, the only other thing the developer said was to change infill down to 0%. Now, that was more of a recommendation or a you can do it if you want. Now, for beginners, I assume they won't have two advanced printers. So I actually recommend that you keep the infill at 20%. You can change it to zero if you want. So in order to do that, click on infill. Where it says infill density, you can change whatever number you have here to zero. But honestly, I would keep it at 20% just to make uh, printing a little smoother and easier. Now, if you want, uh, I said change it down to zero, up to you on what you want to do, but I recommend keep it at 20%. Um, supports are going to be the next thing. Now, there's quite a bit of red on the model, so like the ears and the eyes and somewhere near the belly, but you actually do not need supports for the small version. So we're going to make sure that supports are turned off. Now, the model is small enough and there's Quite a bit of bridging so you don't really need any of that supporting stuff so make sure that's unchecked for build plate adhesion we have sufficient contact area uh and direct contact with the build plate so same thing we don't need any build plate adhesion make sure that's set to skirt and not to brim or raft and other than that you are set to go just hit the slice button and give it a few seconds to slice up once it's finished slicing, you should be given a time estimate of roughly three hours and six minutes, but that will depend on your printer and the settings you used, especially infill, as well as a uh, 20 gram filament estimated usage. Now we always preview the print to see if anything weird or funky is going on. And if, if you see that gray, just click on this blue slider up here, drag it down and drag it up to have all the colors back. And uh, like I said, there's nothing funky or weird going on, so the print looks pretty good. So all I have to do now is save the file and send it over to the printer. Here's the model straight off the build plate. As of now, your legs and head may not move, but we're definitely going to alleviate that in the next few steps. In order to get the legs free, all you have to do is apply a little bit of force on both of them. Now the head should also move as well, so move that up and down if it's not already freed. Your model may have some residue left over on the upper parts of the leg, but that can definitely be cleaned up with a small pair of tweezers. And it should give you a final result such as the one in the video. Very easy to clean up, not too much of a hassle. In the end, the model has no defects and looks beautiful. This should definitely be a very easy print for beginners.